OK, so what I'd like to do is show you how to subtract our polynomials. And when subtracting polynomials, I'm actually going to show you guys two different ways. All right. Um, our first way, I'll show you the vertical method. Just like we did with adding, adding you're just going to subtract. So you write x squared minus 5x minus 3 minus, and then you have x squared minus 5x plus 5. Now, I like this method because it's pretty simplistic. All you do is you take one equation, and then you put it under the other equation, and you subtract them, right? It's pretty straightforward, pretty basic. I don't like this method because a lot of times students make get mistakes, and they forget that you're subtracting this whole bottom equation from the top, or this whole bottom polynomial from the top polynomial. So when you do this, you have to kind of say it out loud to really make sure you're doing the correct operations. All right. So here's how I'm going to help you. So I have x squared, sorry, x squared minus x squared, which is going to be, yes. Oh, that's not supposed to be a 3. I'm sorry. That's supposed to be an x. Sorry. OK, so x squared minus x squared is 0x squared. 0 times x squared is just going to leave us with 0, right? So now, negative 5x minus negative 5x. Remember, those are double negative, so it's going to turn to positive. So therefore, negative 5x plus 5x is going to leave us with 0x. And then we have negative 3 minus 5, which is just going to leave us with a negative 8. Well, obviously, like I said, these are all going to multiply to give us u0. Therefore, your final answer is just going to be negative 8 in this example. OK? Cool? Now, here's the other method that I think makes it a little bit easier, because I really don't like doing subtraction like this. What I prefer to do is apply the distributive property with your negative symbol. Okay. Therefore, and then remember, remember, guys, when you first learned um, adding and subtracting numbers, if I said 5 minus 3, all subtraction problems can be written in as, a multi as an addition problem. 5 minus 3 is the same thing as 5 plus a negative 3. Correct? Yeah. So if I apply the distributive property, that's the same thing as changing it from a subtraction to an addition problem. So therefore, really, it's x squared minus 5x minus 3 plus, and then if I just apply the negative to each one of these terms, x squared plus 5x minus 5. So you can apply the distributive property and change it to an addition problem. Now I have x squared minus 5x minus 3 plus a negative x squared plus 5x uh, minus 5. And now when you add these up, you say, oh, that goes to 0x, that goes to 0x, that's 0x squared, and that goes to negative 8. Therefore, your final answer is just negative 8. Okay, do you guys see how both methods kind of work? Yep. 